Hi friends, welcome back to my channel. I'm a little bit overexposed because the sun just started beaming. Not mad about it, but it just makes me look even more whiter and pastier than I actually am. I don't have a full face of makeup on, so I have no bronzing. Anyways, I'm not ill. It's just the sun and the fact that it's winter here in Canada and I need some tan on my face. Anyway, so happy you're here. So happy to finally have this video coming out because I will tell you this is my third attempt at filming this. Part of me was like, is this a sign that maybe this is not the type of content that I should film? But here we are. As you can see from the title and if you watched my previous video, I wanted to show you some of my latest Lululemon purchases and give you a full review. I wanna preface by saying that like these are items that I have ordered Boxing Day through January. So this isn't like all one big order, um, but I will say I am a Lululemon lover. I have been a Lululemon lover for so many years and I truly, truly believe they are worth every single penny. I have Lululemons from over 10 years ago and they are still like, not the most immaculate condition, obviously, compared to like a brand new pair, but still kicking. No holes, no rips, no nothing, and I still love them. They're more of my like loungy ones that I would like do housework in, but um, love their leggings. I also have several sports bras. I have several sweaters, and I just, I love the quality. I love the fit. I love the look. I feel confident when I'm shopping in terms of the sizes. Like I don't feel like their sizes are so inaccurate, like so many other companies and brands. Um, and I also love how versatile Lulu's attire has evolved to because some of the items I purchase, I purchase them based on how I could wear them to work, but also wear them to play golf, or I could wear them to the gym, but also wear them at home and be cozy. So I like to pick pieces that are easy to fit into whatever my lifestyle is, but I just, I just think that Lulu hits that mark every single time and I'm just so stinking impressed. So for me, um, things that are important are obviously the long wear of something. So I will not buy something that's only gonna last me four months. Like I am not the type of person to buy like a Lululemon dupe off Amazon. And yeah, at first it might like fit and feel and look the exact same, but if it only lasts me four months, absolutely not. I would rather spend the money, invest in a piece that's gonna last anywhere from a year to four years to potentially 14 years and I don't even th think twice about that. So I, especially this year, like one of my biggest goals was to buy less, not necessarily spend less, because I wouldn't say I'm somebody who overconsumes or overspends, um, but like buy less. So just be more intentional with where I spend my money. And Lululemon is just one of those brands that I do stand behind and I think it's worth every single penny. They just never disappoint me. Their customer service is amazing. I will also quickly mention that I am a Sweat Collective member of the Lululemon community. So what that means is if you are a personal trainer or if you are, I'm a yoga instructor, an instructor of some sort, um, I believe it's also for like first responders. I can't cannot recall if nurses are in that category or not, but basically there's certain professions that are part of this community that get 25% off if you work in that profession. Um, so I am a part of that. So obviously the 25% does help. It's only on full priced items, not on sale items. So um, another thing for me is I do look on the We Made Too Much site often. Um, and you know, a lot of the times it's more of those seasonal colors that you'll see on We Made Too Much, but several items that I'm going to show you in today's video, I purchased off the We Made Too Much section and I absolutely love them. Anyways, enough of me trying to convince you that Lululemon is worth the money because you already know, let me show you what my purchases as of late have been. All right. First up is this sweater. I want to make sure I get the name right for you. It is the Modell Blend Turtleneck Tunic Sweater. I purchased this in a size 10 in the color black. I wasn't too sure about this sweater. It was on the We Made Too Much and the reviews were a little bit mixed, but let me give you my honest review on it. The Modell material is very nice. I really like the feel of it. It's soft. The dog hair does not embed in it, which is very important for me. I have two Goldens. So the dog hair in my house, on my couches, and my bed is substantial. So um, the dog hair, 
will still obviously collect on it, but as you can see, like it's very, it doesn't just like embed in it, which is like really important to me. It's easy, easy to wipe those hairs off. Keeping with the hand here, love the cusp. I love the armpit. One thing about me is that I typically have to upsize in many shirts because my biceps are just sound back. <laughs> no, I have larger arms. I personally love a little cow neck turtleneck moment. That's just personal preference. Love the way this all goes down, but actually the back. Let's just have a moment here for the back. It kind of crosses a little bit here. And what I love about this cross is the way in which it wraps around these sweet little butt cheeks. I just love the way it just cups underneath and goes past the bum. Okay, now back to the front. I love where it hits. It hits about mid thigh. I like that it just like covers this whole area. When I'm in the office, part of the dress code is obviously to cover this area to be more professional. So I like that this is an option that I can wear home from Pilates, which I did today, but I could also wear this sweater into the office with leggings and it would still be professional, but also I wouldn't feel so exposed in a professional setting. Um, this sweater also has two zip pockets. I like when they're zipped. I just feel like that's a quality piece you don't always find in sweaters. Um, so I love that and the pocket goes all the way through. Love that as well. Another thing I really like about this sweater is that this Modal material is the same on the inside. It's not fleece lined. I am somebody who runs very, very warm and I just don't like always wearing a fleece. This is a good sweater. I can wear it out. I can wear it under a coat without feeling like I'm constantly sweating. So that is also a win for me. Very breathable, good for people who have high temperature. If you like the length of things going past the bum area, this is the sweater. So yeah, again, I love it. It's size 10. I bought it off the We Made Too Much section. I will leave all of the names of the items in the description below, but I feel like this was a 10 out of 10 find. Okay, next up is a good old matching set. Let's start with the top. So this is the Align bra, and I have a love-hate relationship with the Lululemon bras, and it's because my situation is very, very niche. I am very sensitive around the back of my neck to any sports bras that twist or any sports bras that do not have movement. I know it's very niche because obviously everybody wants everything to be lifted and pulled in and perky and like tight. Not me. I mean, I want the like lifted perkiness, but I don't want the tightness because I have several cysts on the back of my neck. And whenever there is a pressure in that area, it makes me extremely nauseous and then can inflame these cysts. Also, I do suffer with migraines, which tend to run down my neck. So sports bras in this area that are too tight for me, just personally, again, make me feel very nauseous and just don't feel comfortable. So this was the very first thing I test when I wear sports bras from Lulu's is this test. Do I have enough room that if I'm like inflamed or this area is really sore or tender, is it going to be super compressive and make me uncomfortable or do I have a little bit of give so for bras I typically a size up so this is the size 10 align tank c d cup what I love that Lulu has started to do with their bras is give you two different types of measurements. They used to just give you their normal sizing, like two, four, six, eight, 10, 12, 14, whatever, for cup sizes, unless you were buying like the actual bras, which were like, you know, the 32D, things like that. But I have noticed that Lulu has done a really good job at giving you both now. So the Align Tank I bought in a size 10. However, I also bought in the CD cup option. And that has made such a difference for me to really feel comfortable in the Lululemon bras because there's a little bit more material that they give so that the girls aren't just like squished in there and you can actually breathe in them. So I bought this one again, size 10 in the C D cup option because I am typically a 36 C. So I feel like choosing the cup options really personally made a difference and might for you. So just a little tidbit there. Anyways, let me show you the back. 
Again, lots of room in here. I like the cut. It's the long line cut as well. So you get a little bit extra material to go down the back and then also cover that top rib, which for me, I really like that feeling secure underneath the boob. Um, so yeah, anyways, I really like this. I felt very comfortable in Pilates today moving around. I felt supported. I didn't feel like I was you know, falling out. Um, so this was a 10 out of 10 for me. And the color of this is the medium forest, which is one of my favorite colors that Lulu has ever released. I think it's gorgeous. I personally love it on my skin tone with my red hair. It's just screamed me. So I ordered this, I think just after Christmas, got here, loved it, um, loved the fit. And I was like, I actually love the color so much that I feel like I need a pair of matching leggings. So I did. I ordered a pair of the Wonder Train High Rise 25 inch in the medium forest and I freaking love them. You guys know if you've been following me on Instagram that I did a comparison of the Wonder Trains on my Instagram and I just can't talk enough about them. They are my favorite leggings that Lulu has ever put out for multiple reasons. Number one is the fabric slash compression of these pants. Don't get me wrong, I do love a good align. I love that comfy, cozy, can stretch in any type of way and not feel like my pants are gonna rip. I do like that feeling. However, I like that feeling, but more so the feeling of feeling supported and compressed and everything is just nice and tucked in is my personal preference for leggings. And that to me is what the Wonder Trains are. They have this nice flattering band of material that's double lined around the waist, which feels nice and compressing. So for me, this area, which I'm gonna talk about of my other pair of pants I bought, um, this is the area where I hold more weight. So for me, I wanna feel supported here and not feel so, so self-conscious about this area where I sometimes do feel that way with a line. If I'm wearing my true size, if I'm trying to really squeeze into a size six, it's so compressive, but it's like knocking the wind out of me compressive. So. Anyways, back to the Wonder Trains. So I feel like this compression is really nice in here. I also absolutely love that these pants have a drawstring because like most women, my hips are wider than my waist. So I love that I have the option to make this tight and that they don't fall down. I swear to God, if you tie this up, these babies are not going down unless you have the wrong size like they're too big for you, then maybe that's the case. But these, when they're tied up, are very, very supportive. Um, I also buy them in the 25 length, which hits like just above my ankle, and I personally love where that is. I am about 5'6", so for my height, it's perfect for me. And yeah, I just, I really like the material. I like the fit of them. I think they make the bum look really nice. Everyone I've ever seen buy these, I'm like, why does their bum look so good? And then I realized it's these pants. I mean, I'm sure their butt looks good outside of the pants, but you know what I mean? Like they just, they just fit really nice. They're not flattening the butt. Um, they're giving you that nice big booty look, which we all want. So love that. Um, I also do feel like personally, this is another personal preference, that it does smooth out my cellulite better than the Alliance. Actually, I don't feel like the Alliance smooth out my cellulite at all. Um, these ones though, I do feel do that. So can't say enough about these. But before I move on to the next item, I do wanna mention that the Wonder Trains, they come in two different types. These are the original ones. I've had several pair in the original, love them. They are the OG that I fell in love with. I did also buy the Contour Fit ones in the exact same size as my normal size would be, which is size 10. And I love them both. Contour Fit is smaller in the waist but more material in the hips. And I really love that because I need less material here, but I also really like the compression of the regular ones that it gives me through the bum and the hips. So I feel like the contour fit, there's much more room to stretch. Whereas for me, I 
want the stretch, but I also want the compression, if that makes sense. So I love them both. And I feel like I use them both the exact same way, whether I'm doing like weight training, Pilates, walking, running, I use them both and think they're both amazing. The one thing I'll just say, like, is if you are really disproportionate between waist to hip, that would probably be most beneficial of the contour fit because you do have that extra give in the bum and the hip area with maintaining that same waist size of whatever you're purchasing that size. But I feel like if you want more compression, you're gonna go with the regular ones. I am so happy with this purchase. I love the fit, I love the comfort, I love the color. It's gonna be a yes for me. Okay, on to the next. All right, next up is the tapered leg mid-rise pants, seven, eight length lock stream. Obviously, I would not wear these with just this bra, but for the purpose of what I wanna talk about, about why I like these pants, I needed to be able to show off this area. So. Bear with me here, okay? So I purchased these in the color True Navy and I purchased these in a size medium. As I said, I am typically a size 10 in pants and I have purchased pants like these, a little bit of a different style, but I purchased them in the size large and I just felt like there was way too much material in here and just didn't look good. So I decided to get the medium and I'm so glad I did because I feel like they fit way better. There's not a ton of material here. There's still so much stretch in them. Like you can squat, you can do like whatever. I went to physio in these pants and I just thought they were perfect. So the main reason I bought these was actually for the upcoming golf season. I wanted to have a pair of neutral but dark pants that were stretchy enough to walk the course, that were light enough that I wouldn't feel like I was sweating so much, and that were just comfortable. And actually when I got them, I was like, these are actually really nice and they look kind of dressy. And I was like, of course, Lou's we'll so versatile. I can golf in them and I can go to the office in them, which I absolutely love. Um, so I just really like them. I love the fit on them and I wanna talk about the high rise versus mid rise. Now before I say what I'm about to say, I wanna say this is totally personal preference. This does not mean that this applies to you and your body. I'm talking about my body and what feels good for me. So just make that note, okay? Anyways, these pants, they are mid-rise. And I know not everybody loves a mid-rise, but what I've come to realize with my personal body type is that I feel like mid-rise actually fits me best. I want it to be high-rise, but this is why high-rise doesn't always work for me. As I said, where I tend to hold my extra weight is in my lower abdominal area. Q, hormone imbalance. Topic for another conversation. Anyways, I tend to hold my weight in this area. And with high rise, what I find is they're so high rise that it just accentuates this area. That's like all I see when I look at photos or when I look at myself in the mirror and I'm wearing high rise is I just see this area so accentuated. And I get obviously very insecure about that. Um, but what I realized is when I wear mid rise, when it hits me at that point, it doesn't accentuate it as much. I feel like it still is like above my hips, you know, it's still there, but when there's typically pants with like a band, it just secures that area in. And I just feel like it makes me feel slash look better about my body, you know? So for me, I am a mid-rise girly and it took me a very long time to realize that. And that's probably why I freaking hate wearing jeans is because it's so hard to find a good mid-rise jean. It's always high rise and I just feel like it just makes me feel really insecure about this area. And I don't like that. This is the year of feeling secure in the clothes that you wear. So find the fits that fit you best is what I keep telling myself. So anyways, these pants, mid-rise, I like them. I also really like the way in which they look at the back. They don't go up my entire back. They sit at a nice level. These are fake pockets, which I actually really appreciate because if you golf and you have pants with pockets, these pockets just freaking fly out all the time and it's really annoying. So love that they look professional enough that they might have pockets, but they're not real pockets. So I love that. They do have two pockets obviously here um, and they're deep, which is nice if you golf, put your tees in there, your balls in there. Um, but also I feel like it fits my phone really well. Not that I would golf with my phone, but I mean like if I'm wearing these at work and I need to put my phone in my pocket, my entire phone fits in there and this is the Pro Max. So that says a lot about how deep the pockets are. Anyways, um, really like these. Again, 
I am about 5'6", so these hit just above the ankle, and for me, I love that look. I can throw on a pair of sneakers, I can throw on a pair of sandals, and it's just like the perfect length. I feel like they're tapered really nice, so these personally were a win for me, and I also really like that I got these on sale. These were on the We Made Too Much section. There still is multiple sizes, but also multiple colors. So that's it for clothes, but I do have two accessory items that we need to chat about. So let me sit down for this one. If you've ever seen this box before, Instagram, you may have ordered your own social media, you know it's in this box. You know what is in this box. And I should say, I know what season we are in. But these quite literally fell into my hand. I will explain myself. But if you have no idea what's in this box, let me show you. It is the Rest Feel Slides. And these are quite possibly one of the top five items that I have ever purchased from Lulu. Last year, I bought the sandstone color in these slides. And I think they've had these slides for two years now. And... As I said, they're one of the best products I have ever bought from Lulu. I wore those sandstone slides everywhere last summer. I went to Mexico in November and I wore them everywhere when I was in Mexico. I even contemplated wearing them to the wedding. I didn't, I wore some really cute heels, but it crossed my mind. When we went to the after party of the wedding, I did put them on because they are just so stinking comfortable. Anyways, how these quite literally landed in my hands. Or as I always say. Um, so I talk about these sandals to quite literally anyone who will listen because I love them so much. So one of my best friends was going away to Cuba at the end of January and she was like, oh, I really want a pair of those sandals that you always talk about are comfy for my trip. I was like, yeah, you should definitely order them. I was like, come over, try mine on, which are a size eight, and then you'll know if that's your size or you need a size bigger. Cause both of us kind of go fluctuate between like 8.5 mark, but they don't have 0.5 sizes. It's only eight or nine. Um, so she ordered the eight in and she got them. She's like, ah, I just think I need actually the larger size. I don't know what was different. Maybe mine were just more worn in from the summer, but she was like, I think I need the nine. Order the nine and it was really close to our trip. She's like, oh, I don't have time to go and return these or whatever. And uh, we were talking and I was like, you know what? Let me take those size eights off your hand. Let me take those off your hand for you because I'm gonna freaking order a pair anyway. So I might as well just have them on hand already for the summer. And I said, I really wanted to order the black pair because Shay has a black pair. And I just find whenever we go out to like dinner, or go somewhere that's just a little bit more fancier than just your basic black flip flops. These are perfect. They just, they have the perfect little shine to them. Very subtle Lulu on the side. So anyways, I was like, let me just, let me take those off your hands. Cause I'm gonna order a pair anyways. So that's how these just fell into my hand. So it's killing me not to take these out and wear them around the house, but I wanna hold on to them until summer. So I am going to pack them up and put them away until then. Anyways. If you've ever contemplated buying the Lulu slides, I can't say enough about how much I love them. So comfy. They lasted the entire summer and trust me when I say I wore them every single day, I wore them every single day and they are still in great shape. I'm a little bit nervous to share this last item. <laughs> I will say I just purchased it so I can return it if you guys think I should return it. And this is the real reason I'm making this video is because I need your help. Because the people I've asked that I'm like, should I keep this or should I return it? They're like, keep it, it's so you. I know it's so me, but my biggest concern is, is this item so me and so everybody else? Because it's been sold out within a day, restocked and sold it again. Like, am I gonna regret having this item? Because everybody got their hands on this item. Okay, brace yourself. It's the new Lululemon tote bag. It's gorgeous. As I said, it screams me and my personality. But for some reason I have in my head, am I gonna be upset when I see everybody else have this bag? I don't know why I care, but does it make me look like everybody else carrying this bag around? I need your honest review. But I wanna show you about the amazing things that are in this bag. It's a gorgeous white and creamy taupe checkered color. It has a beautiful silver metal 
logo. A lovely pocket here for your phone. Beautiful color of like this beige. I don't know the exact color off the top of my head. They just call this two-tone bag, I believe, and then it's black and beige. The back is really nice. Those straps come all the way down and wrap around, and it's the checkered on the side. It's a really good size, like it fits your laptop. Like, just look at how cute that is. Look at how cute. I love how long the straps are. Like, it's not like, you know, right up in my armpit or like squeezing my big biceps. I love it, okay? Inside, let's go all the way in. I should probably flip the camera for this, but we're gonna make it work. Okay, on each side of the bag, it has a bottle holder. So it goes all the way down here. So it can fit your water bottle or your to-go coffee, which I really like. Has a nice big back pocket that zips. And then it has two little front inside pockets. There's no zipper, but they're nice and deep. So you can just stick your phone or whatever else in there. And it's just nice and open. So it fits my laptop, fits my chargers, um, water bottles, a couple snacks. And then lastly, it does have a button to close up as well. And then this little piece, you can hook your little keys on there if you want. Anyways, they really thought this bag through is what I'm going to say. Um, I originally bought this because I am starting a training in a couple weeks so that's on weekends and I wanted a bag that was for this training. I'm not going to tell you what the training is yet because it's going to be a surprise but originally when I saw this I was like oh that would be perfect for my little weekends away for this training where I can just put you know my pen, my notebook, my laptop, my lunch or my water bottles in here and go to my training. So that's my initial thought with this bag. But again, I need to know your honest review. Do I keep this or do I return it? I really want to keep it, but I need to be honest with the fact, is it going to bother me when I see everybody else have this bag as well too? And when I say that, I don't know if any of you have purchased this bag yet. <laughs> Maybe not. Maybe it's just TikTok that went crazy over this bag. Um, I believe this bag is out of stock in this color. They may have the black one in stock, but I will leave in the description below if you want to see it. They also have three different sizes. I got the large tote bag. Um, so anyways, tell me in the comments below, do I keep this to return it? Please tell me to keep it, but tell me your honest review in the description below. Anyways, that's all of my Lulu purchases over the last few weeks that I've been holding on to to give a full review to you. Um, if you're watching this, you're probably also a Lululemon lover, or maybe you haven't purchased Lulu and you want to know some honest feedback of Lulu items for a mid-sized body, um, size eight to 10. I mean, obviously sometimes I'm size 12, it, that fluctuates. But anyways, if you wanted some review on those products, then maybe that is why you're here. Regardless of why you're here, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. Make sure you let me know in the comments below, keep the bag or return it. And I'll let you know in my next video what I decide on. Until then, I hope you guys are well, staying healthy, and getting right ready for spring because it is right around the corner and I cannot wait. Anyways, that's it for now. I will see you guys in my next one.